Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luckalize here and welcome back to another story time video. Today in this video we're going to be going over my terrible camp experience. This actually happened quite a while ago. Now hopefully by the time you guys are watching this we have hit 40 subscribers right now. We are at 39. If so, thank you guys very much for 40 subscribers. If not, thank you very much for 39 subscribers. Anyway, let's jump straight into it because you guys seem to like story time videos as the other one went pretty good. Alright, let's go. We are just going to be doing some more 4v4 with the random people, guys, because I don't know what else to do as some background game plan. Alright, I'll be back when we're in the game. Alright, we are in. I hope you guys do also like my skin. It is quite sus. <laughs> I'm a pro new. Okay. Anyway, so let's start off. This happened about a couple of months ago. I was away for a little bit, actually. But first of all, a bit of background information. You went to a random camp in the middle of the bush. Now this camp was it was all right altogether. I'll say that. Sorry about my slow bridging though, because I get very worried. I'm going to fall off the edge. Look at this epic bridging there, as you can see there. Anyway, so yeah, back bit of bit of background information. It was quite a fun camp altogether. It will not. Let's just ignore that. It was quite a fun camp altogether. Um, it was actually camping. Most camps you just go to a cabin and just hang out, do activities, but this one was actual camping. Uh, so for two days we went out, this wasn't the entire camp, but for two days we had to pack all our luggage into one little hiking bag, which I brought a lot of stuff because I always overpack for things and that is a good thing most of the time. But this was basically half my weight for a whole week in one little hiking bag and our pillows and stuff, which was terrible and if you have not met me in real life, which you probably have not, I am as scared skinny as a stick texture pack, I need a texture pack, anyway, and so that was very difficult for me, but in these two nights we had to walk to our camp science, and actually even at one point we had to build a boat and go across a huge lake to get to the campsite, with all of our luggage, anyway, what I did was I decided, you know what, I'm going to be really smart and pack a ton of food just in case I get hungry in the night which I don't think was very smart, which added more weight, but anyway, first night was good, it was, it was quite fun, we had to take our bags and canoes, it was quite a nice night, we didn't get any dessert though, because everyone was talking, didn't really bother me that much, I had to set up tent, etc, etc, in the morning, we were all exhausted, everyone wanted to go home already, this, we just spent our first night, and we had, then we had to build our own boats to get our luggage over, you could say. Which was not fun. It was terrible. But we did manage to get it there in the end. That was not smart. No! <laughs> oh, closing. Anyway, we got there. Then we thought, yes, we finally made it to our new campsite, because we thought we'd just go camp there. They said, no, we've got about the rest of the day to hike. We're all devastated, but turns out we were about to climb up one of the biggest mountains in our area. With a bunch of sweaty, tired boys, teenage boys, who all wanted to go home. With hiking bags half of half their way. And tents. It was absolutely terrible. Anyway, I didn't really realise, because I hadn't been to the mountain before, I hadn't realised how big it was, and I was actually quite excited, believe it or not. Oh, well done, teammate. My sensitivity is so low, I need to change that. And so I was quite excited, everyone was grinning. We got up the mountain about halfway there, I was exhausted, everyone was exhausted. We were having breaks every five minutes. The mountain basically just went like basically straight up it was like a line graph and it was it was terrible it took us about two hours we finally got to the top and we thought we can't be there we all dropped our bags down exhausted they said right now when you get down it was terrible we were all hungry 
we asked what to eat, what there was to eat, and they gave us some muesli bars. And I'm lactose intolerant, and they didn't have any lactose free ones. So I had absolutely nothing. And then, to make it all worse, it started bucketing down with rain. So, we were all falling down, we were all covered in mud, basically by the end of it. There was a huge snake as well. It, we were all so tired, and we finally made it to the campsite, and it had flooded, and we had to stay there for the night. And basically, the entire night, there were koalas screaming, which is an absolutely terrifying sound, you can actually search it up if you want. And I hated them, we barely got any sleep. But we did it in the end. And they gave us a huge talk right before right before we'd head back to the cabins about how that was an amazing thing for us to do. And we should all be really proud of ourselves. Okay, I'm definitely not gonna win this. Yeah. And then the next morning when we were gonna walk back to the cabins, everyone thought we were gonna have to climb up the mountain again. But no, that was about a five minute walk to where we had gone. We took the mountain for basically no reason. And that was by far the most demeaning experience ever. And it just felt so worthless because there was no need for it. We could have just taken five minutes to get to it. And it made us all super buff, but still felt very meaningless and no reason at all. Especially when it's raining real muddy because we're all slipping down real tired. It was, it was terrible. Anyway, that's it for this story time. If you want a part two, there was a lot more that happened after that. That was pretty funny. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe because that would be very epic. Thank you very much. I've had such a boring week. I've been studying all week because the exams are coming up. So please, please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you. Okay, you've done it. Okay, bye.